Okay, so now we have question number nine from P1 January 2019, International A-Level. Um, the equation 3 over x plus 5 equals minus 2x plus c, where c is a constant, has no real roots. Find the range of possible values of c. So basically, what they're trying to tell us is this equation, there will be no solution to this equation. That means that this, the line on this side of the equation, or the curve on this side of the equation, and on that side of the equation, will never intersect. And we want to find the values, or the possible values of c, such that this will be true. Okay, so when you want to solve an equation like this algebraically, what we must do is, we must um, first get rid of any denominator and re rewrite it as one equation that equals zero that can solve. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take the equation which is uh, 3 over x plus 5 equals minus 2x, minus 2x plus c, let me just tidy that up, equals minus 2x plus c and what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by x so you'll have 3 plus 5x equals minus 2x squared plus c times x okay so I've multiplied everything by x to get rid of this fraction and then I'm going to rearrange it to bring all the terms on one side of the equation and you can see that this is going to be look like a quadratic equation because you'll have x squared as the highest power. So if I rewrite everything on the left side, I've got to get rid of this minus 2x squared from the right side. So I've got to add 2x squared, so I'll have 2x squared. And I'll have, I've already got a 5x here, so I'll write 5x. And I'm going to have a minus cx. And the 3 is already here as positive 3 equals zero. So I've, I've rewritten everything on this side of the equation, but I've kept the x squared terms and the x terms and the numbers kind of like in order. All right, so now what I'm going to do here is I can see that there's a common factor in these two terms of x, okay, because that'll give me an x term. So I've got 2x squared, and I can say that's like 5 minus c times x plus 3 equals zero. Now we have a quadratic equation. And we want to find the values of C for which this equation has no real roots. There's no solution, okay? And for quadratic equations, there's something that's called the discriminant, B squared minus 4AC. Okay, now, when you're trying to solve a quadratic equation using the formula, this is the part that's always under the square root. You have minus B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A. So this, this part of the quadratic formula is a, an important part of it because if this part of it is equal to zero, okay, then there'll only be one solution to the equation. Okay, if this part is equal to zero, then you'll have minus b plus or minus zero over 2a, which is minus b over 2a, which would just be one solution. If this part is positive, if b squared minus 4ac is positive, then you'll have two solutions because you'll have minus b plus or minus something over 2a, which will give you two solutions. And if b squared minus 4ac is negative, then there will be no solutions because this part will be undefined. The whole thing will become undefined. There will be no solutions. So there's no solutions when b squared minus 4ac is negative. When b squared minus 4ac is less than zero, there will be no solutions. So remember, this is the quadratic um, this is discriminant taken from the quadratic formula and in the quadratic formula a is the coefficient of x which is 2 here b sorry the coefficient of x squared which is 2 here b is the coefficient of x which here is 5 minus c and um, the c in the formula is different from the c in our equation so be careful of that the c in our formula is 3 okay C in the quadratic formula. So B squared, so B is 5 minus C. You're going to have 5 minus C squared um, minus 4AC minus 4 times 2 times 3 is less than 0. So I have to solve this equation and that will give me the, f the range of values, well, not an equation, it's inequality, and that will give me the range of values of C for which this has no solution what we started off with has no solution. So now I've got to expand this bracket. This gives me 8 times 324, yeah. Um, so I got 5, 25, 
minus 10c plus c squared minus 8 times 324 or 6 times 424 same thing all right so i've got now c squared minus 10c and plus 1 is less than 0 okay so i've got to find the solutions to this okay now i can see that this is a uh, quadratic okay i've got to find the values of c for which this is less than zero so first thing i've got to do is find the critical values of this equation so um i want to find when c squared c squared minus 10 c plus one is equal to zero uh, this cannot be factorized i don't think there's no way it can be factorized so let's find the solution c squared minus 10 c plus one is less is equal to zero first find the solutions to that so I can complete the square c minus 5 squared minus 25 and I take the one to the other side minus 1 equals minus 1 so c minus 5 all squared equals 24 minus 21 plus minus 1 plus uh, 25 and c minus 5 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 24 okay so c is equal to 5 plus or minus now uh, you're going to have 4 times 6 is 24 so plus or minus 2 times root 6 i'm just taking out the common factor root 24 is the same as 4 root 4 times 6 which gives you 2 root 6 okay so those are the two values of c Okay, where they equal zero. I just plug in my battery. Sorry about that. Okay. Now, what I need to do now is um, see that, okay, so you've got five plus two root six, which is definitely going to be somewhere here. Okay, so that's five plus two root six. And you're going to have five minus two root six. That's going to be, let's, let's just see the, the value of that. We can, we can also do this in this type of question. You can check to see that you've got the right answer. Okay, we've shown the, the, the steps here. But let's see if we've got the right answer by using our equation. So you've got polynomial, degree 2. Uh, our A is 1. Our B is minus 10. And our C is 1. Okay, that gives you 5 plus 2 root 6 and 5 minus 2 root 6. Good. Let me just see what that value is. That's positive. Okay. And that's also, of course, also positive. One second. Yeah. So, yeah. The both, one's going to be here, one's going to be there. It doesn't actually matter, really. But that's how the curve will look, something like this. Okay, I've just drawn it a bit too close to the... Actually, let's move this away there. But yeah, okay, that's better. All right, so it's, it's basically going to look something like this. Okay, it's going to cut through at these two points. Okay, which is 5 minus root 2, 6. 5 minus 2, root 6. And 5 plus 2, root 6. So you can see we want to find where it is less than 0. So it's between those two values. So C, when it's between 5 minus 2 root 6 2 root 6 and 5 plus 5 plus 2 root 6 that's when you're going to have um, no solution to this equation okay it says find the range of possible values of c so you could have left our answer in this form or I could written I could have left my answer in decimal form okay I could have put between um, 9.89 or 9.90 and where is it gone? And 0 0.10. Okay, I could have put between 0 0.10 and 9.90. I could have written that. Okay, but if it doesn't state anything, this it's fine to leave it in exact form. In fact, I think it's better. Okay, so there we have question number seven answered.